We've introduced joint dementia research as a mechanism for getting more patients, their carers and the public engaged in dementia research. And importantly, to get the numbers that we need now uh, for the research that's coming available. Everything that we do in healthcare is based on research and in order to keep on improving healthcare, we need to keep on improving research. So little is known about dementia, in particular Alzheimer's, and what causes it. We don't have a drug treatment, we don't have preventative treatments. And one of the reasons for that is that the understanding of the mechanisms of disease is still so limited. On the whole, people are very scared of it, to be honest, because it's the unknown. We hear about it in the news, but it is the unknown. You're not protected from dementia, no. whether, no. you know, whatever lifestyle you have mm. or whether mm. you're wealthy, whether you're intelligent. Makes no difference, does Makes it? no difference whatsoever. Once I got diagnosed, it was so important to get involved in research. Yeah. Mm. And of course, we've got joint dementia research, of which we're both part. Yes. Even I can take part in it. I think that's what's really good about it. It's not just if you've received a diagnosis. Joint dementia research is open for anybody, whether or not they have dementia or memory problems. And essentially what people do is they become data donors. They say, I will register with the system, with joint dementia research. I will provide you with the data about myself, about my interests, and about some of my medical information. And then a matchmaking process takes place. It doesn't commit anybody to a particular study, but it means that we can go back and say, look, these following studies are suitable for you. You might be eligible, that needs to be explored further, um, and you can choose those that feel right to you. I explain to the patient that it's not only helping them, and they see that, they say perhaps it's not a cure yet for me, but I'd like to help someone else. I got a diagnosis of early onset Alzheimer's disease two years ago. The people running clinical trials really do struggle to get people recruited to their trials because a lot of time there's a lack of awareness that the trials are going on. It's so easy to sign up. All you need to do is Google Join Dementia Research or phone one of the charity lines and they will give you the information that you need. If we can only get it so that, that it's talked about and, and people encourage people to register. There's never enough people engaged in dementia research and we desperately need more people. It's up to every individual, but I'd say go for it. It's all good ploughing all this, all this money into, you know, all the funding into research, but without volunteers, yes. it doesn't work. <laughs> That's a good you, know, point, you, yeah. you, you can't work without the volunteers. No.